Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the video just gives you a good vibe of an uplift that you would love to share with a loved one um, to do the same or even more, please go ahead and feel free to do so. And the video I'm doing right now is Tw Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka, is you, are you feeling um, out of sync with your current reality? All is being scrambled to rearrange, to realign. There's a lot of things that you could be going through and it's just like, it don't feel real. <laughs> I've been like that because I'll be sitting up there like, it don't feel real. You know, um, different things that just really, you know, you don't feel in sync with your current reality. And it's not like you're trying to escape from it. It just, you're peeling away from the illusions, you know, you're peeling away from distractions that you're really seeing. You know, sometimes that old will get comfortable in that vibration. You know, a lot of times you can read into things. I just get real pissed off at the universe. Like, you're in your comfort zone. I said, what the hell am I? Uh, there is nothing going on around me that makes me feel comfortable. The things I got to face, the energies I got to be, you know, connecting with. None of that is feeling comfortable to me, but I got normalized with that instead of, you know, allowing myself to just really, you know, um, be in, in, in the now. I would just allow myself to sit there and just complain about it instead of doing something about it. You know, allowing myself to break free, allowing myself to pray, allowing myself to do informations, mantras, and different things like that. Because you're seeing, it's like things are, you know, it, it just feels like all hell breaking loose in your life. And it's, um, it's peeling you away from that old. It's peeling you away from different things that is no longer exist in your life, no longer needed. You know, and a lot of times it can get very uncomfortable. It can just feel like God is just destroying my life no he's recreating that mess because a lot of times we normalize what what we were programmed what we had learned what we we felt like we were limited to what our habits were our patterns were our thoughts you know um our, within our existence within itself you know and those are the things that's carrying on to where it's like you, this is not something that you need to normalize these are not the things that you need to um be comfortable with you know the, you, you, when you deserve more, you put in for that effort to create more. A lot of times it's hard to do that. You can be very proactive one day and you can go through it like day by day and there'll be a day that, you know, it could be some one situation or even two or possible three, you know, can throw your whole balance back off and you right back at square one. It'll feel like you're right back at square one again. But God is just, you know, what he's telling me. Don't get used. Don't don't get used to feeling that you, you're you're going back. You're just allowing yourself. A lot of times, it, it, it's gonna feel like you're going backwards unless you're doing things that you know. Sometimes we can personally sabotage ourselves because we fear what's coming around the corner. We can personally sabotage ourselves, and we get used to that. And this is just like when you're allowing yourself to say, okay, you know, this may be a bad day. It's not a bad life. It's not a bad experience. You know, it, it could be a very uncomfortable experience, you know, and it'll just start feeling like things is just hitting, you know, knee deep and ish, you know, and it'll be just so many different things that, you know, is taking place in the life. And it's just like, there'll be times that I'll be in my head and I'm just like, this mess doesn't feel real. Why does it feel like I'm, I'm just so disconnected I'm so detached from myself and it's like I'm not being detached from myself I'm getting detached from what I normalized what I, what I got used to what I got accustomed to and it's, it's telling me to yearn for more it's like my mind is wanting to soak up more you know education more knowledge about my gifts more knowledge about the world you know into my you know my spiritual oneness you know my higher self you know all these different things that's taking place where it feels new to me you know, it'll be a lot of different things that y'all send my way. And I'm just like, oh, I ain't never heard of that. And go research and it'll blow my mind. Or it'll be different things that I'll hear in my head or I'll see a word in my third eye. And then all of a sudden, I start picking up on different things that I didn't know. It could have been, a, it, it was a gift, but it was normal to me. You know, because it'll be different times where I didn't know I was a conduit. You know, um, not knowing, 
you know, why do people come to me right when they're <laughs> either going through a nervous breakdown or they're going through a divorce, a parent or a family member passed away, you know, something like that. Um, a, a conduit that's going through that. You, then you're an anchor. I was like always wondering why I would get like these stigmata type, you know, vibrations where I can feel people transition. I, I can see their last moments or I can see things that they cherished or, you know, when, when sometimes y'all come to me and there'll be a different family member that guided you towards me and it'll blow your mind, but I can tell you who that person was, what, what they're known for and stuff like that. And I mean, sometimes I'm just like, how do you, how you get it? And it's just like spirit will touch me and they'll start showing me different things that you know that person did or it can really like freak them out you know some people are like girl are you from Louisiana I'm like no my family is but you know I got, I got black background down there so you know we, we it, it's just a gift that was passed on passed on and it's like a lot of people that are breaking these curses you don't know what has been instilled from you from that choice of that family member that that um that tribal ancestor your ancestors just like you know that person is really going to make a change in the world for us and it's it's just like right now your ancestors our ancestors the tribes all of them are looking you know and seeing stuff because I, I see a lot of people like they're reading in hieroglyphs you're starting to read in foreign languages that you you may not be accustomed to but something feels very it feels foreign to you but it feels familiar at the same time like there's a lot of things I see people rubbing on hieroglyphs and it was like one or two people but I see a lot of us doing that like you'll be in, in your dream she'll speak in a different language that you know it's some other language for us you know, sometimes you can catch yourself by going through different vibrations, different entities, and you'll start speaking in tongues, you know, and you'll do different things like that. And it'll be sometimes I'll catch myself laughing like, what the hell did I just say? I said, oh, could have got a Honda, you know, it could be, you know, it'll be something like that. And I'm just like, what the hell did I just say? You know, it'll be different things like that when you shift in moments. It'll be just like different time lapses, you know, it'll, it'll, like you're speeding up time. You can manipulate time, different things like that. The mind is very powerful, you know, and you can see different things. And it's just like things are coming together. So there is like the old can fall apart. So there's a lot of different things that's coming out that, you know, it may it, it may feel like a whole cluster of, of, of confusion that's taking place into your life and you're not you know it's just like a lot of times it's starting to put you in hot and cold flashes you know you'll start seeing different things where it was a different time you know you're starting to sink in with your old part of you and it's not i'm not talking about the old part of you of this life but different past lives like will be different people you connect with and you're like i know that person from somewhere or i'll start seeing like you, you really trying to put the face with the with the place and there'll be different times that they're coming together because they got something they got to pass on to you through, you know, experience. There'll be certain things that you had to remember, certain things you're healing from, certain things you had to know, you know. Um, and it is really, you're, you're going through an ascension in a kind of way that is not, you're not used to. And a lot of things is going around right now where it's making it very sensitive. And it's just like right now. With, like with your clairs, your spiritual clairs, clair audience, essence, you know, all those different things. You're hearing different pitches of uh, ear ringing right now. It's like especially when you're going through times of meditation or you're taking that time to yourself, you're feeling more comfortable in seclusion. And a lot of times it can feel uncomfortable, it can feel lonely. It's just like, oh, I wish I can click with somebody. And then when you click with somebody, it's like you're not clicking with them. Like, oh, gosh, they're not my vibration. And I can't deal with that and stuff like that. So it's like so many different things that's taking place that um, you're, you're undergoing. It's just like a... a it's like a procedure, like a surgery, but it's like a spiritual one. You're, you know, it, and it just, it, it's like when I see it, it makes me think about underworld. I don't know why I've thought about underworld when it comes to that last one. It was like blood wars when they had that man that had that, you know, everybody had a piece of the puzzle, you know, and there's just parts of you. You can do things that you, you know, if somebody would probably try to lock you up in a daggone sight ward, if you start telling them different things, especially if they're closed minded and they, they sleep, the <laughs> You know, they up on that, you know, um, I forgot what you call it, narcoleptic, narcoleptic type, you know, situations where they just constantly sleep and they don't want to wake the heck up. You know, you, you're seeing things, you're feeling things, you know, you, your auras is changing and stuff like that. You start seeing things with the normal eye that normal people can't see. We're not normal. There's nothing about us that's normal. And I'm not saying that in, in a crazy or negative way, but we're very unique. We're very, you know, uh, intriguing. 
you know, towards different people. There'll be certain people that are just drawn to you and don't know why. There'll be certain things, you know, people always tell me, I don't know why I'm drawn to you. There'll be different things. I say, if you stay long enough, you'll find out. <laughs> you know, and it'll be, you know, just doing that, you know. Um, and it's just like a purpose that, you know, I know I'm on a purpose. I know I'm on my path. And things are just really revealing. And it could be like a WTF moment, like... Are you serious? This is what is going on. You know, I'll, I'll look at certain pictures of my own. And, di you know, especially it's like, especially if it's, it's like family that passed on. They're like, stop doing that. And I'm just like, but still, it don't feel real, you know. And it'll be different things that I know I'll hear. You know, a lot of times the temperature will just change up. Like, you can be freezing for a long time. And it's because spirits are, are communicating with you. And a lot of times you got to quiet your mind to be able to see what they're trying to tell you. See and hear what they're trying to tell you. Sometimes they can appear in front of you. And sometimes you'll just see them through your third eyes. Just like you see. You know, you look with these, but you see through that. You know, and there's a lot of times where, you know, you're getting headaches. Like, really bad. You can hear popping like in your forehead, you know, I, I feel them a, a lot of times, you know, my eyes change a lot for me, you know, especially when I'm, you know, going through different stages, my eyes start changing and um, I start seeing different things, you know, in different ways. And it's just like, wow, or it'll be something that's guided towards me, especially if you, you know, you're connected with the spirit realm. There'll be a lot of people. It don't it only have to be a person that you know. You can see a person that has uh, passed away, and you can just hear a whole conversation with them. And I was just like, there, there's times I've done that a lot, and I'm just like, wow, that's beautiful to me. You know, especially if it's people that I, you know, I grew up listening to, especially if it's in the public, you know, and hearing different things. And it's just like, you know, sometimes it can it can get me very overly emotional, especially if they, you know, dry, died in a very you know, any any person that passed away, is, it can it can leave a stain of sadness there. You know, and it's not saying a stain like ugh, you know, a stain, but it's like heart heartfelt. You know, sadness. You know, why did that person have to be taken the way they had to be taken? So it's like your your emotions are getting different. You know, you're going through different sinks of your life where it can be elevated one minute and then drop to the next, and you you know you're drained. You know, and it, it can you know you're going through massive change right now. You know what's going on and it's just like something is really it's something is starting to peak something is starting to peak you know um, I'm hearing a lot about the second coming you know a lot of time people are like oh Lord it's the end of the earth revelation revelation is revealing that's why it's fearful to a lot of people I remember my mom used to tell me this stuff like that I never wanted to hear it but then when I start reading up on different things it's about revealing the truth of what it really is exposing things that you know that was kept hush hush and that can be scary because it's the truth you know a lot of people are comfortable with lies people are comfortable with illusions they're comfortable with made up things they're comfortable with cloaking but when stuff's starting to peek out you're starting to see a lot of things for what they were you know just like a lot of people are you know taking their own lives because of certain things they know too much no they they ain't doing that they just c cutting off the weakest link that person is a liability they're gonna start with like such and such and such was found you know you know they took their own mm -mm. no they didn't they just know too much and they they don't need that nothing getting out that they don't want to especially if it deals with anything with power you can't do it but there's a lot of things you're, you're feeling very detached and that's the reason why you're uncovering a lot of things that was like in the in in the book of knowledge, you know, Akashic records. You know, you're you're becoming more uh, embodied with the unknown. You're coming more embodied with the new, you know, um, not like new age or anything like that. But it's something that is it's been there waiting for you to acknowledge. It's, it needed to do that, and for that to happen, you had to have mishaps. You had to have misfortune. You had to go through some kind of trauma some kind of tragedy and it had to trigger off something that you have forgotten so if you're going through that this is the reason why you know you're uncovering the new part of you you're uncovering something that was waiting for you to be discovered you know it's been talked about through the incas it's been talked about through the masses the deities you know the the ancient ones all this you know it, it was something that they wrote that it was going to happen it's in scripture you know a lot of people say oh you know the um what was it? The Mayans stood up here and said, you know, the world's going to end in such and such and such. No, it wasn't. What it, they, and they misinterpret that. And that's the reason why they did that. The people that are gifted is going to know exactly what they're talking about. And it's what we're going through right now. There has something has to be 
end for it to something for the begin. It doesn't mean it's going to destroy the whole world as in what we know, but it's destroying what no longer needs to be here. You know, you're seeing it through, you know, the atmosphere. You're seeing it through new movies like the Moonfall movie. You know, the, these are not coming up in concepts for people. There's there's some kind of truth lied in fiction. You know, and I tell people that, you know, I got in deep conversations about that. How you think people came up with Frankenstein? How you think people came up with Wolf, Wolfman and, you know, vampires and stuff like that? It's not something about imagination. There's some kind of line of truth somebody's experienced in life to where they can pass it off as being fiction. But people know, you know, there's a lot of different things that went on in the world that is not you know they'll they'll put off it's like oh this is hearsay you know the conspiracy theories you know they love doing that to throw you off to make you feel like you know this can't be what it is yeah it is you know a lot of times truth is stranger than fiction that's why they rather put it on fiction so but if you're feeling that way this is the reason why you know there's something in your life there, there's something that's coming you know, a lot of us feel that there's something that is peaking and, 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 and it's walking the earth and it's just waiting, you know, waiting for that time. There, whatever we're going through, whatever is about to peak is going through it, too. They're probably going through it through a lot harder <laughs> than we are because, you know, it, it's getting crazy. But whatever it is, we're strongly connected to it. And it is, you know, it, it is something that's going to be, you know, God is about to reveal towards us in ways that is going to leave a shock to the world. You know, and it's just preparing us through our days of transformation, you know, ascension, you know, rising above the, the unconsciousness to be in our consciousness. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of the video. That was kind of deep to me. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> you know? And just being able to do it, you know, do what I need to do. But I would love to give a post notification shout out to Farrah Hazard as well as Kelly. Um, I, I don't know which Kelly you are, but I apologize. But thank you for coming through if you if you watch this. Uh, Farrah Hazard and Timberwolf, much love to you as well. If you're new, you know, please drop me a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. I leave all my contact information in the description box below as well as my, um, my link to my podcast as well. And if you feel, you know, generous, you can go ahead and drop, you know, a donation within the um, Cash App as well. I'll put that on there. And, um, you know, it's just basically, you know, helping people out, you know, this just trying to get a deeper understanding about their purpose, what is going on into their lives. They're trying to make sense of, you know, what is taking place there, you know, they really need to connect with and that, that, that spirit, spiritual vibration. I try my best to be able to help out where I can. Um, and everything needs to be going as confidential. So, you know, and just leave it is is that. So, you know, um, whatever your manifestations are, I'm sending that, that positive, uplifting vibrations. Whatever you're struggling with, whatever you're trying to, you know, um, uh, place in the structure, physical structure of your life. You know, and it's really feeling like it's hard or, or it's out of reach. Trust and believe it's going to be way more than you expect it to be. And it's going to be a lot. It's going to be a lot sooner than you ex anticipated as well. So, you know, much love to you. Please be safe. You know, I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. Please be responsible with every single thing you do. And you'll see me on my next video. Much love. Love you. Namaste.